Hi guys, so this is gonna be my top 5 Wednesday it, What I picked to do it now, it is March 8th and It's because of the book awards for the SFF And that one is uh, science fiction and uh, fantasy My top 5 will be pretty much all of them in uh, fantasy Because I don't think I have a favorite one in science fiction It's not that I don't like, like I have some of them But it's not my top top five i really struggle to have for this one to round it off like if you see my other video like top like uh, top favorite books it's like shh, so long i couldn't pick i couldn't like yeah it was so bad so the first one will be all the time i even had a giveaway for it is the morgan Wave vampire series it is 15 in the series they're all done but uh two years ago in 2015 uh, she came out with the uh, tales of the Morgan the Vampires and uh, so the 16 it's an amazing series it is pretty much uh, this uh, city the Morganville which was built by Amelie the vampire she made it to also control the vampires but humans so the vampires won't go you know on a list to just kill people she will uh, also tell the humans that we will protect you but you have to donate your blood you don't go after like I don't know when the dark is out you don't go out it's not that can they can tolerate the Sun it's just it is hers for them and they have to be older like century olders to be actually able to stay in the Sun and be like not trying to burn or anything like that um, all of this happens like uh, to be okay until a certain person comes to town and uh, she gets tangled by mistake into all this like war between humans and vampires and Emily gets a like into this girl because she's very very smart and she wants her to work with Mirning, one of the crazy uh, vampire alchemists and uh, she's trying to also save the um, her friends this girl but uh, Emily is trying to save her species which is the vampires because they're very sick but not everyone knows only the um, her like Claire's friends and her nobody else so yeah that's pretty much what it is this first book I read it very quick like I binge read it I don't think in like two days I read like it was uh, an omnibus, three books in one, a thousand and something pages. I don't think I slept more than like gathering together six or seven hours. I finished that thing. Like I just flew through it. I loved it. The next one will be the Lux series. I know there's a lot of controversy. It is a bit cheesy at some points, but I just love it. I read those five books in four days, literally like... I just loved it and then after I read it I purchased the audiobooks and I listened through them since last year about three or four times it's just an amazing like amazing series for me I just love it it's yeah at some point of course it bothers me too but it, like because it's so good I just fly through it or maybe I'll skip that part because I've listened to so many times I already know which one, like chapter is so yeah it's about aliens, uh, like uh, these light and dark ones, pretty much that's what it is, light and shadows, that they fight, and they, uh, the ones that they're not on Earth, they want to take over the Earth, and they, the, he, these light ones, they got mixed up with humans, and they created these things, so yeah, it's good and nice. So the third one, it is the Shadow Me, and to be honest, one of them, I didn't really enjoy it just because it was the part to like break my heart but then I'm like yeah okay I can go with this and like it because I reread it quite a few times and also I already like for just most of the time when I love a book I will also because I have a subscription on audiobooks so I'll maybe purchase them there too so I listen quite a few times it's just amazing about these people with powers and it's not like uh, they're humans but because of this radio uh, radioactive they happens on earth they have sectors of, like by people to control and they know about these people with powers but they try to keep them in check and all that they 
and they don't want to be under this control. It's pretty much like divergent from this point of view to like they wanted to like, you know, like be by themselves and not be so forced for so many things. So yeah, I just loved it. I'm not good at explaining, am I? And then the for excuse me, the fourth one, well, it's never a particular word. The first one, it will always be the Morganville, but the other one is not a particular word. It will be the Chronicle of Nick, and this one, again, it's a new, like, thing. I started, I don't know, two years ago, and this year will come out the eighth one, I believe. I cannot wait to see it. It is um, pretty much like the Dark Knight. It is by... Um, I haven't said any of the authors, I will just try to keep making for you guys so you can see it. It's about this, like, uh, how it is, the Shadow Me, if you guys, uh, the Shadow Me, really? How it is, the uh, Mortal Instruments. You guys know that uh, Cassandra Clare got inspired by actually the Dark Hunter and Shane and Kenyon, they were good friends, and they, like, she agreed for her to use the Shadow Hunters and things like that in the... In this book, they're not called Shadow Hunters, they're called Dark Hunters. Uh, they are uh, fighting against vampires, witches, and any kind of like creature that you think they are. It's in there, but in this one, it's pretty much this particular like Malachi, the huge demon that even the gods they're afraid of. So it's just beautiful. I love it. I cannot wait to read the eighth one. And the last one is had so much trouble to pick this one people because there's so many of them how I was trying to say before but it's very very hard to like pick one it is the Angel Creek it's a series uh, well no I'm lying it's a trilogy but uh, I they're only the first two out yet and that one is revamp and the second one it's reawaken and the third one will be reborn and I cannot wait to read those. It's about, again, vampires. Most of my books are about vampires, okay? It's um, just unique. It's different. The vampires are born or made in this one. But in this particular one, it is uh, this girl that she's uh, uh, the daughter of a very important vampire that goes into a different city uh, to train some of the vampires because each city has five vampires that will protect the city, you know, from some vogue vampires or criminals, humans and all that to like keep them in check. The vampires can be, uh, can work as an actor and don't be like in the politics and all of that, they, they can actually live like human beings. I think they, because I haven't read in a while, I think they can live on um, food, like, and they don't need as much blood, I think, so I'm not very sure. I don't remember, I'll just leave it for you guys here if I uh, find it. And um, they can be actors, they can be singers, they can be working in politics and become presidents if they want to. They can literally pass as humans with no problem and they wouldn't, like, like you know, kill people or anything like that. They will just be, like, nice and a part of humans and all of that. So... Yeah, it's pretty, I, I really like it, it's just original and I love it. You guys, let me know, these are my top fives that I have picked very, very hard. The only one that I know that will be there for sure, the only two, sorry, that will be there for sure, it is the Lock series and the Morgan Beer Vampires. The other ones, they're always changing, so yeah, you guys let me know how easier it was for you to just pick five. And say they're good so I can check them out. And sorry for making this video again so long. You guys have fun and enjoy your breathing. Bye bye.